Well, before I get to talking about the camera, I'll show you my backyard bird video studio. Besides the feeders, we've been able to attract local birds with a few water features. There's a bird bath, a small turtle pond with waterfall, and a bubbling fountain ideal for birds to drink and bathe in. Recently, I've set up some natural looking perches that might mimic a woodland scene. So we've habituated the local birds with a reliable food source and a cool place to hang out, and they visit here every day. I'm not expecting to capture any epic video of exotic species here, but the sheer ease and convenience of filming in your own backyard is very appealing. It's just a matter of getting them to pose for me in a believable way. Now this is a suburban California neighborhood, and the bird species are rather common but occasionally we'll get migratory birds passing through down the Pacific Flyway. The Panasonic HCX2000 is currently the smallest, lightest 4K 60p camcorder. It has many professional features, but it's the size and weight and fantastic zoom range that appeal to me because I hike with my equipment. Here it is in its smallest form factor with the detachable handle off. The camera is feature rich with very good autofocus and 5 axis optical image stabilization. In good light, the image quality is high. Battery performance is excellent at four hours. And the built-in stereo microphone provides decent audio. It has a fast f1.8 to 4.0 Leica Dicomar lens, which helps make up for its small 1.5.5 sensor size. Despite its small sensor, and actually because of the small sensor, the huge 24 times optical zoom range is possible in such a small package. So in 35 millimeter equivalents, the lens starts out at 25 millimeters on the wide end and goes to 600 millimeters on the telephoto end. Excellent for one person wildlife videography. To keep the size and weight down, I thought I'd be using the camera mainly with the handle off but I've really come to enjoy the extra features and improved ergonomics with the handle attached. The handle interfaces with the camera as soon as it's put on. With my external shotgun mic attached, it adds about a pound and a quarter of weight, but I gain a ton of features. First of all, the handle is a great way to carry the camera around, and it even influences your handheld shooting style. You gain a second zoom rocker and a lockable start-stop button. The biggest bonus is the professional audio controls and features. You get two fully controllable audio channels with two XLR inputs and phantom power. This allows you to add a professional shotgun microphone, improving your audio by leaps and bounds. Lastly, as an added bonus, you get an onboard dimmable video light with everything powered by the camera battery. 
So here we are at the lens's widest angle setting at 25 millimeters, and we're going to zoom out all the way to its highest telephoto setting at 600 millimeters. We're actually going beyond that because I have the camera's intelligent zoom feature enabled. Intelligent zoom goes beyond the lens 24 times optical range and into digital zoom scale, making it 32 times for a top end of 800 millimeters. Digital zoom starts cropping into the sensor, and that's not a good thing for image quality. Historically, digital zoom has been terrible. But Panasonic's intelligent zoom, using interpolation algorithms, claims to have little to no image quality loss. And I'd have to agree with the claim, and I use it all the time. I'll demonstrate, and you can judge for yourself. So here goes, all the way from 25 millimeter to 800 millimeter. Pretty nice, huh? Okay, now I'll zoom out a little bit back to the top of the lens's true optical zoom, right there. Now I'll zoom into maximum. Everything within this range is intelligent zoom, aka digital zoom. The Raynox 2.2 times telephoto conversion lens is a new piece of kit for me and should effectively more than double the zoom range of the camera. Consisting of four optically coated elements in two groups, it claims minimal loss of light or image quality. Unlike traditional teleconverters that fit between the camera body and lens, this is an add-on telephoto lens in itself that screws on up front to the filter mount threads of the camera's internal lens. Initially, I was apprehensive about screwing on something this size to the weak filter mount threads, but it turns out it's really light, weighing in at 12 ounces. About the same weight as a thin, empty water glass. It isn't an accessory that you leave on your camera all the time. Its purpose is to extend the long end of your zoom range. Vignetting occurs through much of the wide to normal range until you get zoomed into the telephoto range. So it's a tool to be used only when you need that extra reach in camera without having to crop in post. Another advantage of the Backyard Studio is readily available resources like electricity and lighting equipment. And from the comfort of my living room, I can monitor bird activity and shoot out the window at a moment's notice.
scrub jays are corvids, members of the crow family, as are ravens, magpies, and nutcrackers. Corvids have pointed beaks good for pecking acorns or extracting pine nuts from pine cones. To deal with the black sunflower seed, he holds the seed in its feet and pecks away at the seed husk with his sharp bill in order to get out the nutritious heart. House finches have more triangular bills. They use their highly dexterous beak and tongue to crack open the shell and can very easily remove the husk to get to the tasty prize. Thank you.